in. A pro-Trump protester was escorted out of the rally after the crowd cheered over him as he unfurled a pro-MAGA flag. Trump also campaigned in Texas, hammering his... Looks like he's going to be done for the season, and that's after already losing. The moderators did not fact check the vice president at that presidential debate. Great show. Uh, you know, since dementia is a huge problem in the country now, we're getting an elderly population more and more. Um, I think people over the age of 65. Uh, that number of people is growing exponentially um, because the baby boomers, like myself, um, are getting to that age. It's the link between heart disease and brain disease. And I think <coughs> the importance of knowing this is that in order to stay cognitively uh, well, long into our um, 80s and 90s, uh, we need to have healthy hearts. And one of the things that's been studied by a lot of, um, you know, major medical centers like Duke and Johns Hopkins and, and Harvard is that if you have bad heart health, you are much more likely to develop cognitive impairment, which is what we call dementia. And that's not Alzheimer's particularly per se, um, because we now know, uh, and I personally know, that dementia and cognitive impairment can come on from many different things. So when you look at congestive heart failure, which is the failure of the heart to pump correctly, um, atrial fibrillation, which is when the top part of the heart goes into a chaotic muscle spasm where electricity just sort of um, perforates throughout the top of the heart without a regular beating. And then coronary disease, which is the development of cholesterol plaques in the arteries and feet blood to the heart, and they can cause clotting and heart attacks. They can thin the heart muscles so it can't pump correctly. And in fact, coronary disease and heart attack is the number one cause of heart failure. So what's the common linking thread to all of these? And, you know, it's the word we've used in this uh, program time and time again. Inflammation. And I think people need to remember that the brain <coughs> is fed by a huge number of uh, arteries and veins uh, because the brain is probably, um, and which is probably that it's known to require more energy um, and more blood flow than any other organ in the body. It's incredibly complex, obviously. So when you have heart failure, and when you have coronary disease or AFib, the amount of inflammation in your total body goes up. So in coronary 